Hey guys, it's Josh. How's it going? Today we're going to talk about the Exchange server vulnerability that was exposed, um, I believe, last week. How the days are blurred now, I'm sure they are for you too. So essentially what's happening here is it's an SSRF attack, which is, if you've never heard of that, that's, <laughs> that's probably normal, right? It's a server-side request forgery attack. So essentially what's happening here is we're running a remote code execution on a known vulnerability within the Exchange server system that's exposed on port 443, typically outside your network for accessing email and other things for your remote users. So it's an encrypted channel that this attack's running on. And it was a bad one because it allows you to run internally, move laterally, have access to systems and vulnerable information and applications that um, could cause a lot of problems. And it's something that the attackers can take advantage of because Exchange Server is everywhere, right? So if you have an on-prem Exchange Server running 443, you could be potentially exposed to this. So XDrop has a detection being built for that. For this particular um, uh, vulnerability, it's already in your deployments with RevealX. We've shipped it out once we understood that this was a known CVE. So you have that protection in place. The key is you need to decrypt it. And this blog post go into that. We have two of them, and I highly encourage you to read them. They're from Jeff Costello, one of our, you know, our deputy um, CISO who really digs in and helps the threat into threat research team at XDrop get some really quick feedback loop on these attacks is what I'm really excited about. So essentially, this ended up being a, something from China from the kill chain perspective. So they're having broad access to exchange all over the world. And it really allows them to amplify it because when exchange gets exposed, they can hit it across the entire United States, anywhere that within that has Microsoft, right? So they can go after these 443 ports and then run this code very quickly before it gets patched. So they're able to get there and then it's encrypted so a lot of the existing security tools aren't going to be able to see it or understand it. With XDrop Reveal X, we can decrypt that. Now I'm the first to say that most of my customers aren't going to decrypt exchange traffic. It was not something that was on our radar. But now I think this is a really a wake up call and a push to start decrypting traffic in your environment that is relevant. So if you have access to the certs, there's not a tax with an XDrop, so you have that service, so let's start decrypting it. So we can start, we can understand, once we decrypt it, we're gonna be able to see the telltale signatures inside those packets that are gonna show us, hey, this is potentially suspicious activity running remote code executions with an SSRF attack. And that way you know that you have the suspicious activity, even if it's patched in a, in a sunburst world, it's gonna show, hey, maybe that next version that was passed from Microsoft still has exploits in it. People are trying to access it. Maybe you want to understand what was attacked in my environment, what was taken. In this post-compromised world, if you have that decrypted and we see it, we have all those details, even if we didn't have a detection for it. It's a huge differentiator for XDrop Reveal X. We have the history and the details to say what was accessed, where did the attacker move laterally, what do I need to burn down, what do I need to recreate, what do I need to make more secure for the next time around. And if you have that decrypted, you not only have the detection, but you have the history of that attack so you can learn from it, understand what happened, and understand what was exposed, which is really, really important for moving forward and making yourself more secure and reducing that attack surface. Great. So here's the details on the Exchange Server, SSRF, and RC RCE vulnerabilities within XDrop Reveal X. It does require decryption. I'll put a link to that in my YouTube video notes here. So it's something we've been doing for 10 plus years. So we can not only decrypt standard certs, you know, TLS 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. If you have 1.3 or PFS on your Exchange Server, we can decrypt that as well. You put a key forward on the Exchange Server, send that over to XDrop. We're going to decrypt that out of band. So either way, I highly encourage you to do this if you have Exchange in your environment. And also just take a deeper look and say, hey, what else can I start decrypting in Reveal X that I own the certs on? Because the risk is really low, but the benefits are really high of getting detections and insights in a post-compromised world. Hey, guys, appreciate it.